Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a very overpowered hidden tree that you can actually get on top of and kill so many opponents in Fortnite's Battle Royale. This tree is right near um, Tilted Towers, which makes it a prime spot for people to be underneath you constantly. And if you play your cards right and you lure them in correctly, you will have no problem with racking up kills before the end game. Uh, so before we actually do get into today's guide, guys, please remember to leave a, a like on the video if you do enjoy it or you found it helpful. And also, go and subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite glitches guides, videos, hidden spots, all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos, especially once the Season 3 Battle Pass actually comes out. Um, so anyway guys, let us get into today's guide. Okay, so getting into the guide itself, what we're going to do is once we're in the Battle Bus guys, we're going to land near Tilted Towers, anywhere in this area where they have these specific type of trees. Now, this is not the only place it works. The place that I'm gonna show you in today's guide is not the only tree it works in. You can do it in many that are just like it. So feel free to mess around with different locations. But personally for me, I found that the tree that we're gonna be doing this little uh, hidden kind of killing thing in today is probably the best. Now, as you saw, I've marked a little house just past Tilted Towers, uh, which is right in front of Shifty Shafts. This is basically where I go to get all of my loot so that I can basically get some loot to lure people in. And I can also get some loot so that I can actually kill the players when they get close enough by the tree. And um, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to land on this house right here. And uh, normally this house will spawn in a chest over on the left hand side and uh, luckily enough it did today So um, yeah, my blue burst assault rifle, which is great it, has, it, it does pretty high DP damage, which means that anyone who gets close to the tree will absolutely be eliminated um, But anyway, we also found some other current stuff if you do want to actually go and loot shifty shafts feel free But I found that these two houses are good enough because once you start killing people underneath this tree the the loot is just going to amount up and when people see loot they go towards it so you're constantly getting loot no matter what um so as you can see i got some bandages here people always need bandages when they've come out of tilted towers so that's why i decided to actually grab a couple of those also some blue potions are perfect for luring people in um and also i would just recommend keeping two guns on you one gun so that you can actually kill the players and another gun where you can actually shoot and kind of lure them in uh, but what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go away from shifty shafts and head up towards tilted towers and up while we're going up this little way right here we're going to collect some wood because we are are going to need to build up a little tiny bit um, and you should see that there is a truck going up towards Tilted Towers. This is how you know you're going the correct way and uh, I don't know what the heck this dude's doing. He just stops. He knows that it's going to be over. It's game over, man. It's game over. Um, but anyway, I got some good loot off him too, you know, a couple of extra bullets and uh, some wood, which is always good. And um, you should see that we have this kind of red little house looking structure, little shed, I guess. What we're going to do is we're going to get our ramp up and right here, we're going to build up three ramps. Then we're going to put a platform down and jump onto this branch right here. Now, I, w I know what you're thinking, guys. Well, that doesn't seem pretty good at all. That just seems really shitty, to be honest. But no, genuinely, this is one of the best spots to go to in near Tilted Towers for kills. So as you can see, I've just dropped a couple of things on the end of this branch. Don't do it too close to the actual... Um, don't do it where I'm standing right here. Do it near the edge of the branch because... If you drop it where I'm standing right now, people from Tilted will not be able to see uh, the loot from behind the tree. Now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to sit in this tree for a little while, not too long, and we're just going to fire off some warning shots and wait for some people to come. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to speed up the video a little tiny bit, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so now that I've slowed the video back down to its normal pace, I actually heard some footsteps in this clip and uh, somebody was actually attracted to the shots that I was shooting. He got curious, he wanted to run over and uh, here he was right here. Now obviously, as you guys can see, he doesn't have a clue where I am and I have every opportunity to get my burst rifle out right now and kill him. Unfortunately though, this dude was eagle-eyed and he saw me in the tree. He must have been so confused, but um, fortunately for us, the burst rifle is absolutely OP and I managed to kill him. And of course, I also had some bandages 
so that I could actually, uh, you know, get my health back up. So what I'm going to do again, guys, is just fast forward the little tiny bit to the next guy that comes around in this area. Okay, so here I've seen this one guy, and um, I honestly thought that he saw me for some reason. I don't know why he would have saw me from there, because it's pretty much impossible. But um, I give him a little warning shot, just to see if he'd like come and check out the loot and everything down below me. But unfortunately, he never. He decided to keep on running up. So I did shoot him again. Unfortunately, I did kill him. But you know, still, it was a very easy kill. He didn't know where I was, and... Um, it's just pretty funny, I guess. But we are still waiting for people to come below us so that we can actually rack up a lot of loot. But as you can see around me, I've already got that dude's loot and also his loot up there. So people st should start coming towards me sometime soon. And the more people that come towards me, the more kills I can actually get. Now, another little cool thing about this area is that through these trees right here, you can see people on top of Tilted Towers. And if you do have a sniper, you can actually look through these bushes and shoot them. As you can see, all of my bullets went through, hit that guy, I took 30 of his shield down. Um, unfortunately, I know for a fact I'm not going to kill him with a burst rifle from this far. But, you know, if I did have a sniper rifle, the chances are I probably would have headshotted him. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to fast forward the video again a little bit, guys, and show you the next guy that comes around this area. Now, unfortunately for me, there was a lot of fighting just to my left, uh, just past Tilted Towers in this clip. And unfortunately, so many people were fighting down there that everyone was going down that way towards that cabin just down there. And uh, that was taking a lot of aggro away from my shots, my like kind of, uh, I guess, luring shots. But fortunately for me, some dude did just see all of my loot beneath my tree and he decides to come and grab some. And as you can see, I just gave him a little shot just to kind of mess around with him. Look, he knows, he doesn't know what the hell's going on. And then of course, the headshot to kill him. That simple, guys. That is pretty much how easy it is. And uh, unfortunately for me now, the, um, the actual zone is not in my area. So I decide, you know what? I got three kills up here. That wasn't too bad. Um, you know, for the tree hugger challenge, I think that was pretty successful. So um, now, guys, all you have to do is drop down, get your loot, and just kind of proceed on to win the game. I mean, look at that. 12 kills, guys. 12 kills. Uh, sorry, 12 people left. Four kills, and I've practically done nothing but just sit here and wait to trap people. I know it's a bit of a boring little thing to do, but it does make for a good challenge, the tree hugger challenge. Just sitting up here, seeing how many you can get. If you guys do want to participate in the tree hugger challenge, please upload to YouTube and also tag me at it on Twitter. I would love to see how many people actually attempt this challenge. I could have done with that Dwalt Action Sniper so long ago too. Um, but I'm pretty sure in this game, I actually went on to win it, which is pretty cool. Um, but, you know, I'm going to show you a couple more clips of me actually trying this and uh, possibly failing, possibly succeeding in getting a couple of kills. Uh, so, yeah. So, in this clip, I actually teamed up with a friend of mine named Swedish to lure in a couple of duos to this tree. Uh, because, obviously, the more people that you have, the more loot you can actually drop on the floor. Uh, unfortunately for us, there wasn't many duos around Tilted Towers for some odd reason, but we did manage to find these two people that were stranded, like, kind of wandering around the open area. And, um, this clip right now will show you that this challenge doesn't always go to plan. It can have its moments and of course as you can see they don't have a clue where we are so I said let's let's light them up now and um, I missed a heck load of shots Swedish got knocked out in one and then he, the other dude killed me with a crossbow I'm pretty sure and my mind was blown my mind was blown that these guys just completely got us even though we had to jump on them so in this next clip i actually decided to do it in a different tree right near shifty shafts and this is actually very close to where we actually loot all of our bait i guess and um yeah this tree is not too bad unfortunately for me the guy does see me actually building up here but he is absolutely clueless that you're able to get inside a tree and stay on the branch so what i did was destroy my ramp and I basically just waited for him to get a little tiny bit closer. And like I said, he has no idea whatsoever where I am. He thinks I'm somewhere over there, uh, behind the tree maybe. And um, this just makes for an awesome little clip of me just one-shotting him straight to the body. Took out all of his shield, killed him. And uh, yeah, just some pretty awesome loot below me. I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, 
it's so cool and so satisfying when you actually get clips like that. But if we just kind of fast forward a little bit, I saw another guy just approaching. As you can see, he's just he was just kind of walking on there, and he's definitely looking. He's eyeing up this loot. He is eyeing it up because he sees that purple. He's like, I want it. I want that purple, whatever it is. And um, as you guys can see, I do play about with this guy a little bit. I just decide to shoot him once. There you go. Take 50% of his shield off. Shoot him again, and I know he's only low in health. I did miss that shot, but um, he now gets on to the fact that I'm actually up in the tree. And uh, I thought, you know what? The zone's going to be coming in soon anyway. Let's drop down. Take a, bit, a little bit of fall damage. And uh, yeah, just one shot him. There you go. Guys, it's a pretty awesome little thing, to be honest. I know some of you guys will definitely not like to play using this strategy, but it is amazing. Give it a try. If you do decide to do the tree hugger challenge, please remember to uh, at my Twitter. It's absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, just have fun with it. Have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. All see ya.